What's up, crew? Today we're going to be checking out the New Balance 997S and the Supreme phone case. Hey, hey, look, it's above me now. It's above me. You want me to answer all of your questions, but it's above me now. It's above me. Hey, why you ain't stressing? Hey, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. I just want to show you guys authentic items, some, uh, some real content. I mean, it's just items that I want to go after, things that are pulling my eye or whatnot. I can't go after everything I want right now because I am saving up for a patent. I am an artist. I'm a creator. Me and my wife came together and we created a game. It's a really fun game. Once I have more details about it, like the trademark pending and everything, I'll let you guys in on everything. Once I have the patent pending, that's going to be awesome because then I can actually offer it to you guys. But yeah, so a lot of things up in the works. Make sure you hit me up if you want to buy a t shirt from me. I make organic t shirts. Got a couple of them right here. I'm doing this uh, design right now with all the comments, really small. Do a couple of different colors in there. And uh, I do those all on organic tees, or I can do recycled cotton made in the USA have those as well but anyways enough with that we're gonna look at this supreme phone case for the iPhone 11 Pro instead of getting the iPhone 12 I decided I'll just get a supreme case besides just <laughs> needing like 10 grand for that patent or 15 grand I don't know what it's gonna end up being but this phone case was actually $36 and then since it was my only item uh, <laughs> with the purchase they did give me two supreme stickers with it but there was a $10 shipping charge on that uh, so whatever it's all right if you do spend $150 or more at Supreme right now. They are giving free shipping, but you know, it doesn't always happen. Not every week is uh, is a hit week. Not every week for me. I mean, I used to just grab from every single week. I just had like my line of items that I wanted. But now, you know, they got to be pretty good because on Thursdays at nine, I'm probably gonna be copping some Noah. I'm just saying. Uh, but bef uh, before I open this out of the packaging, let me do some close-ups on this packaging for you. I know I'm kind of like the packaging guru, dude. I don't know. I feel like I kind of am a little bit crazy about it. But yeah, there's your little tag there on the back. And just take it out. Here we go. And see that? It's real fuzzy in there. And they got that screen right in there. I basically had my current case since I purchased this phone last year, so it'd be good to get another one. It has a kickstand on this one, which is pretty cool, but the kickstand little pin thing to hold it in keeps breaking on me. I keep having to replace it or fix it or whatever, so it'll be good to have a new cool case. It is rubberized, so it's just kind of silicone with that nice uh, inner shell on there. And yeah, it works really smooth. I actually like that you can touch all the way down here. My other case, it has this lip down there, and that can get a little bit annoying, but I gotten used to it because it's been a year and I really haven't used the phone without it. But yeah, there we go. The case is all set up, works just fine. You got the buttons that cover over there, and then you got your little opening for the mute button. So yeah, just a standard case. Nothing special except for that Supreme, what is this camo logo that they did on the skateboard? Actually, I didn't grab that skateboard deck. I really wanted the skateboard deck. I paid a dude to grab it for me because I was gonna go after a different item and he just scammed me. He just took my money and ran. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I shouldn't have fallen for that. Anyways, I'm gonna get into these new balance. These are the Great White Shark or Shoe Palace, I guess is who the collaboration is actually with. But yeah, so Shoe Palace, Great White, these are the black toe version and when they dropped I was not able to pick them up I just I wasn't quick enough I wasn't lucky enough or whatever so I uh, let some people know on my community with soul savvy that I really wanted a pair of these and then one of the guys reached out to me and was like hey dude I was able to pick up two pairs so I mean I don't know if he actually picked up two or if he just gave me his pair but regardless I am really thankful and then this box also this says made from recycled cardboard waste 100% recyclable after use and I will be recycling this box for sure. Me and Abby do recycle as much as we can. We are in Montana though so there's no mandates. There's no really setup for recycling. We just have a lot of unused land so they just, I don't know, they think it's not as important but I, I definitely think it is. And Abby, uh, yeah, she's super earth conscious and all that. So anyways, let's go ahead and look at these new balance. We got our tag on the box. There it is. New Balance box. 
Nope, not much on the bottom really. 2019 New Balance Athletics. Oh, this packaging is made from 100% recycled materials. So there we go, New Balance. Getting on that zero carbon emission game. Let's go ahead and look at these. Oh man, these are so awesome. I love the shark teeth on the back of this shoe. And then the wavy look on that end. This end is what grabbed me, what caught my eye the most. And I mean, they're not totally perfect. We can do a zoom in and I can show you what I'm talking about. The, the color is ink and then it has this plastic transparent end over top. But you see that? It doesn't quite line up there, but it's all good. Those little tiny things are really hard to make perfect. But yeah, this is the 997S. So you've got some nice cushioning down there. And then you've got your uh, motion control device down in here. It's like a plastic plate in there that makes it so your foot keeps its shape better. Oh, there's a whole bunch of paper down inside the toe box. I should have expected that. But yeah, this uh, insole is actually really cool. It has some waves, has some different colors in there. So it starts off really light blue like the sky, it slowly turns into a more oceany greenish color color like is on the side of this and then you have that shoe palace in the shape of a shark <laughs> so yeah shoe palace is trying to save some sharks with this shoe I'm guessing I'm thinking and then back here you do have this piece this heel piece with this absorbed text on there uh, maybe that's some new tech that New Balance is using and then it also says end cap reveal and you got a little orange hint in there yeah 997 s on the tongue let me get out the other shoe oh actually there's also some other goodies in here not only do you get some really bright orange laces they're almost yellow yeah they're like a turbo type of orange really really yellowish orange uh what do you think do you like these ones i mean i'm kind of digging the black it's a lot more subtle but this orange might just make them pop a little bit and then you also get this shoe palace little keychain thingy let's see if i can get this opened up here we'll just tear it out of there a little shark so this is a real squishy yeah, squishy, squishy shark with uh, a good solid plastic coating on top of this foam inside of there. It's probably some swimmer foam or something like that. So yeah, a little tag there to make your keys float when you're out floating the ocean. Yeah, it says Shoe Palace on there and on the back it says New Balance and a little VIN number for some reason down at the foot or <laughs> at the foot of the tail of the shark. But yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna throw these on feet because uh, I am really excited to wear these new New Balance.
These shoes, oh my goodness, so dope, seriously. Amazing design on New Balance part and Shoe Palace, just, they really nailed it on this one. I cannot believe the price is so low. Definitely grab a pair. New Balance are extremely limited, and when they do collaborations, they don't reproduce the shoes after they already did the initial run of them. They're not like restocking them and restocking them as people want them. So collab shoes, definitely grab if you like them. These ones I had to grab right away, especially when that friend hooked me up. So uh, yeah, they do run true to size. I would say if you want to size down a little bit, maybe you could, but they are kind of tight, like almost tight. They run very true to size, if not maybe a tiny bit, just a tiny, the tiniest, tiniest bit small. So definitely don't size down. That would be a bad idea, but you could maybe do a half size up if you had to. Some people go full size up because uh, they're willing to, to do that. I really just like buying my exact size, which is 10 and a half in pretty much every single shoe out there. So uh, yeah, um, this week I have off from work. So today was my last day. So excited. I was thinking I was going to make this video tomorrow morning, but then I was like, no, I'm so excited. I'm hyped up. I decided to make it tonight. Tomorrow I've got a birthday party I got to go to anyways. Got my little niece here that I'm taking care of. She's a little two year old, little cute girl. And me and Abby are just uh, loving playing different things. I mean, mainly she just wants to hand us her doll and then take it and then hand us the doll again, and take it. And it's like this uh, cycle doesn't stop. So <laughs> I don't know, but um, I'm gonna have a great week. I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff done around the house that I've just been stalling on. I'll probably change up my setup here. I feel like it's crazy cluttered. I keep decluttering and decluttering. I mean, <laughs> at first I had like no shoes. So I had everything on this little shelf. And then I had this shelf that I started using because I had two too many on that other spot where I was filming in the house and yeah so this slowly got more and more cluttered and I keep decluttering it and then uh, yeah it, it just I just have to keep up with it and it's tough because I do work six days a week 10 hour days sometimes 12 hour days I mean very rarely I'll work a 13 hour day that's pretty rare but I do stay really really busy plus you know I got this patent I'm working on so I'm doing a bunch of graphics as well for that but that's kind of nice because I did get my degree in uh, computer science and specifically graphic design so I can use that degree to a certain extent I mean I've always been artistic my whole life started out making comic strips just with what I knew information that I was given around the world and uh, it slowly morphed into portraits into different mediums of art and abstract was my favorite still is my favorite by far and typography went into that you know the design of actual letters did that for quite a few years because I was in marketing and and uh, advertising for a couple of different companies and whatnot Place that I worked anyways is a part of my job pretty much everywhere I went but yeah so that's nice that I get to do some graphic design for the game that me and Abby are making and what else is new um, NBA the <laughs> the drafts have been crazy I'm really a fan of uh, basketball and specifically the NBA kind of crazy right now with all the players moving around where is James Harden gonna go I don't know maybe you know already on this video um, <laughs> I've always personally been a LeBron fan since I was really small I mean he's only like eight years old older than me but I mean when I was getting into basketball he was just getting started so I feel quite a connection there and my very first pair of coveted shoes the LeBron 11s it was I think it was the Miami colorway or it was no it was the rain rain of the king or something like that uh, but anyways those are my first hype shoe I ever wanted to go after so LeBron has a special part for me and uh, yeah that's that's about it for the update I will leave you with a quote oh man this phone case is so awesome I love it slides out of my pocket way nicer than the rubberized one that I had before so whatever I'm geeking out about this case because uh, it's kind of like a Christmas present to myself or maybe an anniversary present my anniversary is coming up going on nine years of marriage uh, oh Oh, you guys been playing Aglet? Oh, that's kind of a silly shoe there, but um, I'm really active on here. I mean, I'm a mailman, so I'm walking a ton. What is up with this cyber sneaker? <laughs> <laughs> that thing is silly. Uh, what other shoes? Oh, I got the Princeton slippers. Apparently these are expensive on the app, but yeah. Okay, well, anyways, <laughs> back to the quote that I was supposed to share with you here. It is from Mitch Horowitz. I think that's how you say it. Mitch Horowitz? Yeah, we'll say it like that. Everything you experience is your own emotionalized thought pattern out pictured. That is a quote. That is a lot of information at once. Like everything you experience, everything I experience is based off of how I see the world in that particular moment. This quote is so, so deep. It, I mean, <laughs> it's so much to kind of decipher it and understand what 
Mitch, Dr. Horowitz, or maybe Mr. Horowitz. I don't know if he's a doctor or not. I probably should Google it, but you guys can do that if you want, you know. Uh, <laughs> basically, everything that happens in our life is based off of past experiences that we've had and have formed us into this emotional being that we are now. So everything that people say to us, the way they say the things they say to us, we interpret in a certain way based off of our emotional upbringing, our emotional state at that moment to understand what we should do in that next moment. And, I mean, and if you stop to think about it, I mean, so many people around us, we can understand a little bit more. Why are they acting that way? Well, they've had a bunch of influence in the past that has brought them to that point. They've had people feed them with information that has brought them to the conclusions for whatever things that they hold to be true. And that is for any human out there. I mean, it's across the board. So sometimes when you're trying to maybe convince somebody of something or try and explain to them something and it's just not getting through, it's just because they've had so much conflicting information that they're not gonna accept that new information from you, especially if they don't respect you on that level where you can rewrite what is truth in their mind. So you have to kind of come at people from different angles. You just got to love them and just be accepting of them and uh, try and push some positivity into them as much as possible, as much as you can. And if they're a really close friend, call them out on some of the weird stuff that maybe they believe or maybe they could change. Or if they tell you something and it kind of, you know, doesn't sound quite right, you know, question them about that. I mean, if you really care about someone, then you'll give them the honest truth. And if something doesn't line up in your brain with what they're saying, I mean, debate it. It's a perfect opportunity, especially when you're with friends. So anyways, I love you all. Make sure uh, you subscribe to this channel. Like I said, hit that like button and uh, hit me up in the DMs if you want a t-shirt. And uh, yeah, I'll have some more New Balance coming in. I got one more pair coming in. I've been sleeping on so many drops. I mean, I, but I've been trying on the, the drops I really want. And uh, let's just keep going after this life, being a positive part of this world. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.